Hello and welcome back to my channel, the channel where I build my own DIY supercar and this is the prototype, but we won't be covering that in this episode. I'm also currently stripping down this Audi A6 2.7 twin turbo as the new donor car, but we won't be covering that in this episode. But what I will be doing in this episode is some work on my daily driver, which is a BMW E92 325i Coupe. Now, because I've been spending so much time on making videos on the prototype supercar and stripping down the new donor car, this poor thing's been neglected a little bit. And this is my daily driver, and it's got a few bits and pieces that need doing. Now, this thing needed new brakes, but they've been done. Another thing that was needed to be done on this car was the dreaded valve cover gasket, which had failed and it was leaking oil all over this engine bay. But anyway, that's done and that was a bit of a nightmare. Now I did think about filming some of these jobs, but doing the brakes on a BMW E92 isn't really that exciting. The cam cover or valve cover gasket is an absolute nightmare of a job and I really didn't fancy videoing that. But there is one job on this car which I thought you might find interesting and that's to do with the seat belts. Now because of the design of this car, this pillar is quite far back from the driver's seat. So if you need to reach for the seat belt, it's all the way back there. And on this car, it has a seat belt extender that actually gives you the seat belt, stops you sort of stretching over there and trying to grab the seat belt yourself. But there's a problem. It doesn't work. As you can see, the clip's broken, so this doesn't do any grabbing, and the seat belt stays all the way over here, and it's the same on the other side. To keep the seat belt extenders out, I need to pull a fuse, which is inside the glove box. We just reach inside and get to these clips, and then we can drop down this panel, like so. The fuse box is right at the back. Inside this panel, there is this plastic piece in here where all the fuse locations are labeled out. The seat belt fuse location is number 25. The seat belt extender fuse is located at position 25. Now this is on my car, your car might be slightly different depending on your specification. I've got the fuse extraction tool already attached to fuse 25. Now the way this works in this car is there is a sensor in each of the seats. So when you get into the car, the car can tell that someone's sitting in the seat and then the seat belt extender arm gives you the seat belt. Now the problem is, both of these arms are not working and I'm going to need someone to sit in one of these seats so both the extenders come out when I close the door. So it looks like I'm going to need an assistant. <laughs> right, you're on TV then. Can right, you... on TV. <laughs> I've got my lovely assistant here, Harold, and he's got a very important job. And he, all he's got to do is sit, sit in there. That, sit there. <laughs> so hopefully all this will go as according to plan. Fingers crossed. So on the count of three, we're going to get into the car. The seatbelt arms are going to come out and then I'm going to pull the fuse. Here we go. One, two, three. And then we just sit in here. Go. I'll put that in and now the arms will come out 
Yep. There it goes, and I'm going to reach in it and pull the fuse. And the arm shoots out by the arm. The fuse is out. The arms are out. Yep. I think that's a winner. Yeah. Yep. No, that's right. Right, both arms are out. Okay, do you want to hand there? Yeah, hang your hand. 90! You're not quite too uh, what's it to do? No. Is that it, That's it, I appreciate your help. Thanks. Big hand for, for Harold. <laughs> Cheers, Harold. Thanks for that. All, right, all, right. <laughs> all done. Now we can take a closer look at this seatbelt extender. First thing to do is pull it out a little bit more, and there is a clip just inside there, like a latch. That just needs to be pushed in a little bit and then this should pull all the way out. With them both pulled out the car, we can take a closer look at them on the bench. If we take a closer look, this is spring loaded and it's supposed to catch on this little metal latch here and stay open but they're out of place, they're broken or snapped off so we're going to have to sort that. We'll start by removing the spring. And this is the tang that snapped off. You can see the little hook there for the spring. Let me try and explain how these work. Currently, this won't spring back. It's in the locked position. Now, if we take a look at this piece here, there's another little clip inside there. Now, if I push that, I can then release the lock, and then this then bends back down. And you can see this part moves. Now it looks like the spring part, which I removed from this area, was attached to a metal hook in here which actually gives this some tension and pulls it back. I'll see if I can show you. Ah. See inside there? It's a bit difficult to make out. There we go. That is a piece of metal that that original clip has snapped off. And that is what is used to pull this back. What I've done, I've used some elastic bands just to hold these in the folded position. We don't need both of these. Let's just take a look at one. And you can still see that piece of metal inside there. What we need to do is to get that out. It's still stuck in there. This piece of metal is now slid in place. Now originally that had the other piece of metal there which was spring loaded with the spring that ran down there. But clearly it snapped off. So what we're going to do is we're going to affix this piece of metal here to the body of this whole arm and hopefully that will give this some more tension. I'm going to drill a small hole through the plastic and through that piece of metal there. With the holes drilled I'm going to put a metal pin, which would be a nail, in there and I'm going to owl die it in place. And I'm going to be using this stuff. Now this is really strong stuff. This is industrial strength. 
Avil dyed. It's actually used for like gluing uh, wings on airplanes, that sort of stuff. And I used it on the prototype. Very strong stuff. Um, now there are other ways you could do this. You could possibly put a small screw in there, but I tend to find that this metal in here is so fragile, if you try to screw something in, it might split, and I don't think that's going to be a very good permanent fix. So anyway, I'm going to put a metal pin in there and avil it. All I did was cut a panel pin to size. This should fit into that hole quite nicely. Okay, all glued. I'm just gonna give this 24 hours to cure. Well, it's the next day and I've had my bacon. So these are now cured. Take the elastic bands off. And it seems to be working. That's locked in place. Push the uh, little tab there. Just do that. And now it folds down. See if I can show you the inside. Yeah, I think you can see that. That's the uh, epoxy all set. So, I'm just going to put these in the car. I'll just put the fuse back in. Not as easy as it looks. Let's see if it works. Yeah, seems all right. Job done. Right, well that's all the jobs done on the BMW. I hope this video has been some help to you if you've got some uh, seat belt extension arms that aren't working. Now all I've got to do is the jobs on the Audi. Whoopie do. So until next time, Bye for now.